Welcome everyone to episode 3 of the Beginner's Guide to Smite series in which we take a look at the basic abilities of gods in the game of Smite. This episode focuses on Chonga, the fairy of the moon, banished and living on the moon in immortality, yearning for her former husband Hu Yi. So let's dive straight in and take a look at Chonga, her skills and abilities. Chonga is a mage. Delivering ranged magical damage, Chonga's abilities focus around her high mobility. She is incredibly mobile, very difficult to pin down for an attack, has a good escape, and high sustain. Chonga can stay in the lane for quite a long period of time, supported by her little jade rabbit who can do some shopping for her if she needs. So every girl needs a bit of retail therapy, I guess. So let's have a look at the abilities to start with. Again, we'll start with the passive ability. Passive ability is Chonga's Jade Rabbit, who is her only company when she lives up there on the moon. The first and foremost ability of Jade Rabbit, supporting that high sustain for Chonga, is she can send the rabbits back to the fountain and buy items only one at a time, but this little Jade Rabbit can do it. Tootle off, go running back. He usually complains about it if you listen to him in a very posh English voice. I don't know, why don't I trim the verge as well? Um, but he um, he's very useful if you uh, save if you have enough money you're still able to continue on fighting in your lane or, or in your arena um, and you can send the jade rabbit back pick up your items and he'll run back and throw them at you. The other element to Chonga's passive ability is every time she uses an active she increases she gains a plus 25 percent movement speed now this is really useful if you are running away and somebody is chasing you down even if you're not actually attacking them directly if they're behind you you pop your abilities you get a little boost of speed and you may just just about stay ahead of them if they're trying to uh, attack you uh, she also has the moonlit once waltz which is a um, a get out of jail free card if you like that's um, an ability to get out of any sticky situation that other gods may put you in uh, so it's a very very useful ability in terms of sustain we now look at the first active crescent moon dance this is effectively just a sweeping arc effect damage Chunga flings a crescent moon in an arc dealing damage to all enemies in its path at the uh, level Five, it does 240 plus 60 percent of your magical power um, short cooldown on this when you're in lane and I find Chonga very difficult to play in conquest when you're holding a lane solo uh, particularly against guard uh, gods like um, Ra or Poseidon or maybe Kukul Khan the face roll character um, very difficult because you have to clear the lane you have to shift around sideways and sweep your arc across the minions which in turn means that you are susceptible to uh, a push from maybe Kukulkan or, or Ra. So in Conquest I find Chongo really really difficult to clear lanes in the early phases and as time, um, as time as the game goes on you'll find that you may fall behind against the opposition in your lane but in later game that, um, that you can catch that up. Um, so that's Crescent Moon Dance, it's a base four, but basic straightforward damage ability. Moonlit Waltz, this is one of the abilities I put points into very early on in the game. Chonga performs an evasive spin dance, unable to be hit during the action and for each tick of damage from an ability that was avoided, Chonga restores mana to herself and her allies. Now this is really useful again in terms of the sustain, staying in the lane, if somebody gets you pinned down, I find very very useful if I am up against maybe um, Emir or Hades who have their ultimates that can drag you in or slow you, this moonlit waltz you just pop that, she'll spin through the air and more often than not you can actually get out of that area of effect from that uh, ultimate. So I, um, again I use this with um, Ares as well, if Ares pops his ultimate and grabs a chain on you, you can pop moonlit waltz, it's a really good way to, to get away. If somebody's hitting you for damage, you're taking a lot of damage again as it says there, if you pop this moonlit waltz you not only get out of trouble but you can also regain some mana for yourself and your or your teammates as well so really really useful uh, moonflower dance now this is where I find I spend a lot of points early on in the game and, and the ability I use more than any others I tend to play Chonga as a healer um, particularly in arena where I think is the, the arena is where Chonga really starts to shine 
If you are clever about how you play Chonga and you're not really particularly bothered about getting 32 kills or 500 kills, um, you're more focused on winning the game, then Chonga really, really in arena comes into her own. If you have groups of people running around in a big bun fight, run in there, pop this AoE, you will damage your, um, your opponents. Okay, so only plus 30% of your magical power, um, but you also heal your teammates and if you if you decide that your role you're going to play in that arena game is a healer you can actually put points uh, in sorry you can buy items that will enhance your healing and therefore you can actually do an AOA heal heal all your teammates pop your moonlit waltz give them some mana back as well they can really turn the tide of the game and you'll see some from from some of the clips that I'm uh, I'll be showing in this video of gameplay you know it can make the difference between somebody actually getting killed in arena, losing you the points, or actually you getting them back to safety. So Moonflower Dance, very, very good. Waxing Moon, this is Chonga's ultimate ability. And this is effectively a straight line, fairly wide stun. Chonga's Waxing Moon Dance is captivating, with this dance dealing damage and stunning enemy gods in front of her. Each subsequent god that is stunned is stunned for longer than the previous. So stun is one second, plus one second for each god already stunned. Now if you have your gods lined up in a very, very nice straight line, all of five of them in a row and you pop this, the person at the back of the line will be stunned for five seconds. It's very rare that you'll find that happening, often players don't just stand in a neat line waiting for you to pop your ultimate, obviously, but um, when you do pop this, even if you've got somebody at the back of a line of two or three, two, three seconds is quite a long time for a stun, it can get you out of trouble, it can get you into trouble, you can follow up, and you'll see some from some of the clips that I'll be showing in this video, you can actually pop this, save your teammates who are running away, pop this and get in for the kill, or just cause some problems, pop this, go in, throw down a Moonflower Dance, heal your teammates, get an AOE damage going as well. So that's Chonga and the abilities that she uses in the game. I hope you found that really useful. Um, something I forgot, I was just listening to that last recording back and there's something very, very important I forgot, which, um, I, I think is worth mentioning. If you go back and look at Moonflower Dance, um, the, the element that I didn't mention is the healing reduction that um, Chonga's Moonflower Dance applies to those enemies. So not only will the ability to do some damage to the enemies, it actually applies a healing reduction as well. Um, the healing reduction is 50% and over, over a lifetime of 4 seconds. So in that situation where you are up against maybe Ra in the mid lane in Conquest, if you can pop this on him while he's healing, stood in his little glowing effect, you, you can pop it on him, it will actually reduce that healing and that forces him to actually burn through his mana more quickly. Equally, uh, when you're using this in Arena, and there's an item, I can't for the life of me remember the name of it, but... Um, I'll probably pop it on as a comment <laughs> in this video later when I go and have a look and can't remember the name. Um, it, it actually further reduces the healing. So if you have that, maybe in arena and you have that that, and you're running into a group of your of your op opposition gods and you pop the Moonflower Dance and then actually have this item as well which reduces their healing and their regeneration, you can actually really start to have a detrimental effect on, on, on the enemy's health and obviously the, um, if you've got you know, healers in, in the opposition team then it can have a detrimental effect on their ability to support their teammates as well. The converse is also true, if, anyone, if you're playing against Chonga then she can have the same effect on your healing ability. It's just uh, listen to it through, I forgot and I thought it was very very important worth mentioning because again if you're playing Chonga in arena say as a healer then you need to be very aware of the ability to actually negatively impact the opposition's healing as well. That's it. So that's everything in this guide finished. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to offer any comments or questions please feel free to do so in the comments section below. As ever if you'd like to give me a like or a subscribe it's hugely appreciated. Next in the series I think I'm going to do a guardian. I'm not decided which one yet so if you have any suggestions feel free. Back us. Hades maybe, um, Emiya, any, any comments or suggestions, most welcome. I'm available on Twitter if you want to follow me on Twitter at Wasmatic, twitch.tv forward slash Wasmatic and facebook.com forward slash Wasmatic. So until the next guide, thank you very much for watching. Take care.